up, Crypto Warriors? It's Sergeant Crypto back at it again. It is the 25th of October, Sunday, the 25th of October, 2020. Making this video late at night. It is now 23:20, and I'm not only late with the vi video recording this video, but also late in the fact that I haven't really been consistent this week, and it's due to uh, work, family, and school. Something had to give, and this be the hobby right now, not full time right now you know this 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 isn't paying the bills, so this had to take take the side burner, so to speak uh however, moving forward, uh we'll be making videos at least once a week and try to get out as much news as possible, like cover the news as much as possible for the the past week, so like this week in crypto kind of thing, all right, so here we go. The past week has been super bullish, super great for Bitcoin and the whole crypto space. As you can see, we are all in the green and anything that's in the red is pretty much trading sideways. Everything is in the green big time over the past seven days. Looking good. That's mainly because of this news right here. PayPal getting into the crypto space, officially getting into the crypto space. And not only that, they are allowing their customers to purchase cryptocurrencies on their apps right and through their apps but they're also in the talks of buying bitgo and other cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrencies crypto companies fresh off yesterday's announcement that it would integrate bitcoin buy and sell feature big um is interested paypal is interested in buying more cryptocurrency companies the outlet specifically mentioned bitgo a company that provides digital asset custody in the form of cold storage vaults as well as multi-signature digital wallets again why try to build this out yourself when you could go out there and acquire a smaller company you have the money your paypal you've been in this game for a long time you have the billions go and get it great news great news for adoption again you know super bullish and we, we're seeing all the coins that they mentioned bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash and litecoin pump this week because that's what they're going to be offering on their platform now we know that we in the space probably won't be using using their services but the 320 something million crypto not cryptocurrency but paypal users even if it's 10 20 percent of them that that start to use their platform get introduced to cryptocurrency it is a net positive for the space yes we know that we like to purchase our cryptos and have our cryptos ourselves like to custody custody our cryptos ourselves on her ledger ledger nanos and trezor hardware wallets and things of that nature but you know you can just come into the space these are things that are hard to understand again net positive next again bullish on ethereum bullish for eth miners aren't selling ethereum despite its sizable rally ethereum's price has rocketed over the past few days alongside bitcoin but it has been underperforming the benchmark crypto while bitcoin is currently on the brink of setting fresh yearly highs eth is trading down significantly from its 490 highs that were set a couple of months ago for eth to outperform Bitcoin, there will likely have to be a resurgence in the DeFi space. This will drive transactional volume and buy side pressure for ETH and help it rocket higher. One positive development that may boost Ethereum is the fact that its miners haven't been selling into this recent rally. That's news to me. I thought the miners would have, would have been selling considering the fact that you know they're mining so much ETH from all those ridiculous transaction fees. but they're holding on to it and you know what it is they're trying to hold on to them in my opinion for that eth 2.0 those 32 eth that you, you'll need to be staking on the network all right to valid help validate the network so it, it is a good thing i guess that they're holding on to it this way uh, the price will increase over time bitcoin futures c exchange cme is seeing new highs now this is a little it's a two-part to this one right here all right so the CME, all right, Chicago Mercantile Exchange has taken the number two spot on open interest for Bitcoin futures contracts. This is all paper Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Binance is still top dog when it comes to trade and volume. Now we're going to see that they're, they're going to go after Binance as well. They went after, uh, what should we call it? The, no, nah, BitMEX. They went after, went after BitMEX. Went after all the, 
the C-suite executives, uh, Arthur Hayes and everybody else that's up there in the C-suite with him, and basically threatened them with jail time. Now, with that being said, is it because they were setting them setting up to kind of quote unquote clean up the space or help to push their product farther ahead by getting rid of the competition that's what i really think it is it's not that they're out to help uh, the retail investor retail investors or help the common man so to speak they're out to get rid of their competition they're getting rid of bitmex they're getting rid of all futures trading platform in the crypto space this way they them the cme and the cboe they're the ones that could control it backed they're the ones that could control it you know the quote unquote regulated space or regulated operators in the space they're the ones that that, that want to control it and when that happened that's when it squeeze out the mom and pop re retail investors yes it is gambling if you don't know what you're doing and all this other stuff but if you're an adult it should be your choice to gamble your money away if you want to who cares that's just my opinion of course but that's not the, the united states isn't the only one coming coming at coming after these exchanges i'm super excited here you can tell by the fact that i'm stuttering i'm trying to get all this thought out of my head and my mouth doesn't move fast enough but here it is another story here it's loading let me just get everything up and ready so that way when i click on it it loads and it still didn't load here it is so we we even have the fca the financial conduct authority over there in the uk banning speculating on bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies with futures trading they're totally banning it so what does that mean that means that again they're only going to allow accredited investors and i'm throwing up air quotes here accredited investors to be able to participate in futures trading and only on uh, not accredited but regulated platforms so the cme the cbo whatever they the hell they have over there in the uk all right whatever their uh, version of it is you know so it is uh bullcrap if you ask me not only that now we have fincen and federal reserve want changes to the travel rule reporting all right the proposed changes would require financial institutions and crypto firms to share data on international funds transfer above $250. So if you have a, a friend, family member, what are the cases you're sending them money for their birthday holidays, you know, you, you want to send them more than $250. Now you have a, a bank that they, they want the bank to, to report it. Not only that, they want the crypto firms, the Coinbase's, the Gemini's, the Binance, whatever to report on anything over $250. If this isn't the pot calling the kettle black, I don't know what is. So again, the, the travel rule, blah, blah, blah. Most suspicious, now they're saying, they're, you know, it, it's always to protect us, right? It's always to protect the citizens, always to protect us from, you know, money laundering and terrorist attacks. And, and this is how they're spinning it up, right? $250, are you kidding me? I thought it was $10,000 like should trigger certain um, actions by a bank and, and things of that nature but because it's crypto they know that it's worldwide they're trying to you know tighten up the grips so to speak you know tighten up the reins pull in the reins and here it is you know most suspicious activities or most suspicious i'm sorry suspicious transfers from 2016 to 2019 were uh for under 500 dollars according to, to them now if most suspicious transfers from 2016 to 2019 were under five hundred dollars why do we see here once it loads again let me click on all these tabs because i had them open for a while before i started all right but why do we see here banks moved two trillion dollars in money laundering if if it's under five hundred dollars that were suspicious why are banks allowed to launder money for drug cartels, sex traffickers, all dirty actors in the amount of two over two two trillion dollars? And this is what they they caught so far. This is what they caught. 
This is a slap on the wrist for the banks. No one is going to jail. Okay. No one is going to jail. But yet they just pay a fine and it's the cost of that fine is the cost of doing business. When you see this hypocrisy happening, you have to call it out. Why the hell is it a big deal if I send $500, $5,000, whatever the case is, it's my money. So you're telling me every time I do a transaction on a crypto exchange now of $250 that they must mark it as suspicious. But yet banks are allowed to transfer <laughs> up to over 200 trillion, I mean 200 trillion, two trillion dollars uh, for all sorts of shady characters but no one went to jail and nobody is going to go to jail and they just paid a fine remember that next big news again speaking of dirty ass banks uh bitcoin well this is not it this is not a story right here but bitcoin price hits new record high <laughs> in these seven countries and here it is uh these are the seven countries and these are the new highs in those seven countries soon russia and colombia and soon the united states as well because guess what all other fiat uh, currencies as well all fi fiat currencies fail all fiat currencies eventually fail so we're seeing all-time new highs in all these different cur currencies in these different countries for bitcoin and we're going to see the same thing happen here in the u.s as well again speaking of dirty ass banks. JP Morgan turns bullish on Bitcoin citing potential long-term upside. This again is just so much corruption and manipulation like to the highest. JP Morgan CEO dirty ass Jamie Dimon came out and said that uh, Bitcoin is garbage. If he caught anyone in his firm, in his bank, even trading Bitcoin on their personal time and he found out about it, he would personally fire them. All right. So this is a tweet coming from Kroger Macro. JP Morgan from um, Bitcoin. I'm sorry. JP Morgan from Bitcoin is a fraud and will <laughs> blow up in 2017 to Bitcoin's competition with gold in 2020. It's so, it happened so fast. It, you know, it started off slowly, but then it happened so fast. Like, look, look how quickly they, they did a 180. Now they're, they're praising Bitcoin. They're praising Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies having partnerships with the likes of uh, Consensus and having them develop their stupid JPM coin. It's just manipulation, man. Because while they were talking down about Bitcoin in 2017 here in the United States, dropping the price because J that's who Jamie Dimon is, that, that, because he controlled the financial markets, right? He, whenever he speaks, people suppose, you know, listen, because he, he knows what he's talking about. I'm throwing up air quotes here again. The price of Bitcoin dropped by a thousand dollars or more. And when it was dropping, his European branches were buying it up. Okay. And did anyone go to jail? No, they just paid a little fine. You know, the cost of doing business. Next, Coinbase CEO prompts furious accusations of hypocrisy as he pushes political inf misinformation. Now, I can sit here and talk trash about Coinbase all day because they're stupid fees and they're not for the community and all that. But Coinbase is still the easiest platform to use if anyone that's getting into crypto getting uh, and they're new to crypt crypto. I always suggest Coinbase as one of the uh, places they go to purchase their Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies because it's just so easy. It's just so user friendly. I, you know, although I don't like it. Uh, as far as for myself, I know that it is very simple to use Coinbase and you can't go wrong with them as far as uh, how user friendly it is. Now, once you've been using it for a while, then you could branch out to, to other ones. You know, um, another great one I always uh, introduce to people is uh, Gemini Exchange. Again, because I'm here in New York, those are the main two and the Cash App, of course. But um, yeah. So, you know, he, he tweeted out or he, he wrote a long article like a couple of weeks ago stating that, you know, Coinbase should be apolitical and blah, blah, blah. And now he, he's tweeting out during work hours, uh, misinformation 
uh, political tweet. And basically Twitter, the Twitter uh, crypto community got after. Next, uh, the Winklevoss twins, speaking of Gemini exchange, right? The Winklevoss twins, the case for 500K Bitcoin, great read. They break it down, compared it to gold, uh, the problem that's been happening with the US dollar and the whole COVID-19 situation and where that puts Bitcoin and cryptos uh, moving forward. But uh, yeah, great, uh, great read. Come check it out. Next, Bitcoin is going mainstream because of what's happening uh, right now on the YouTubes. Kevin Hart jokes uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are voodoo money. And I have it queued up right here. Here it is real quick. I'm being told that it's a, it's a legitimate investment that's worth almost 250 billion. Okay, yeah. All right, so we do take it. Yeah, yes. Jay, we take okay, it. I got it. We take it. <laughs> so <laughs> the M, you know, one hit, one of the, the telephone thong that he just did, that, that 1-800-MDA give, uh, talking about uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and that the fact that they do accept it. And here it is. This is the website. Once it loads again, let me get this one queued up because Kanye is next. Yes, the Muscular Dystrophy Association does accept Bitcoin as a and Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, Gemini Dollar, BAT, Basic Attention Tokens, wow, and Chainlink as a form of payment, as a form of uh, payment for donations. These are the donation methods that they accept. So great adoption, again, and use cases for cryptocurrency because they are used as money. They, they hold a value and you could use them as money and here it is again a big organization like this accepting bitcoin and cryptos and this one it, although it's coming from altcoin daily if you don't watch those guys you know you got to give them a, a subscribe but um i'll try to find this on the jre as you can see clips but i couldn't find it and but i have it queued up right here on their um youtube right here i'm just playing it real quick i was talking to my man uh fred and my boy anthony about crypto and bitcoin you know the uh, yesterday just to be prepped for this conversation and not about the specifics of alternate currencies oh my gosh like, i forgot i have but uh but uh jack dorsey decentralized <laughs> twitter sorry two I, months before it really hit because he was talking to the Bitcoin guys, and these are guys that ha really have a perspective on what the true liberation of America and humanity will be. These guys, a lot of the, the specifically these guys, but All right, go check it out. Uh, it's on the JRE, uh, Joe Rogan Experience. Kanye was on there yesterday, and he talked about Bitcoin and that the fact that Bitcoin is the true liberation for America and the rest of the world. I'm sorry about the the speed because I listen, I watch YouTube and I listen to these things at two x speed. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I probably forgot the same thing. I probably did the same thing for the um, this guy too. Oh no, I had it on normal. But um, yeah, he. Oh, I guess he just speaks fast. But yeah, so that's it, man. A lot of stuff happening during this week. Massive adoption news coming from PayPal. We're seeing uh, celebrities talk more and more about Bitcoin and that Bitcoin is and cryptocurrencies are being accepted and being uh put out there into the um space all right into into the ether <laughs> so to speak so as like, so usual smash that like hit that subscribe button this is one of my longer videos but again i have a lot of stories to cover here for the past week and thanks for watching smash that like hit that subscribe button let's start the crypto and i'm out peace